What is up my fellow budget travelers? This month I am back in Vegas. So if you are interested in Vegas, make sure you smash that subscribe because I'm talking Vegas all month. In this video, I'm taking you on a tour of Park MGM. It is the first non-smoking casino on the strip. That means no smoking in the casino, in the rooms, in the restaurants, there's no smoking anywhere. So as soon as you walk in, you will definitely notice the difference. The air just smells fresh. The check-in process here is really easy. The lobby is honestly usually pretty empty. I feel like most people are doing online check-in now, so there's not very much of a line whenever you check in inside the lobby. I really never saw too many people here except for people that were waiting for their cabs. As I was checking in, I couldn't help but notice that there was bottomless mimosas here at Primrose. So I'll definitely have to check that out while I stay here. But it's really cute. They have a cafe area that sits beside the pool so you can get some outside time too. My friend travels here all the time. She loves the park MGM. She loves the rooms and she loves the ambiance of it. It's really safe here and she travels by herself all the time. So she likes the fact that it connects inside and it also connects to a tram that goes all the way to Bellagio. It connects right into the Cosmopolitan, to Aria. So it's really easy to go back and forth without having to be out on the street. Cause as we know, Things have changed since COVID and there's a lot of homeless around on the strip. So it's nice to be inside the casino where you feel kind of safe. The elevators also feel really safe because you need to swipe your key in order to get up to your floor. I stayed on the 25th floor and they also have express elevators. So they're gonna take you right up to, I think it was 23. So I was staying on 25. So it was really fast to get up there. I know other casinos, it takes forever for you to go up all those floors. And then on the way down, it stops at every level. So it was nice to have that express elevator option. I also like that Park MGM is very art based and very photography based. So everywhere you walk, you're going to see some artwork, some photography, and it all has the vibe of like being in a park or being out in the wilderness. Before we get to the room, I just want to show you the fitness center really quick. It's really small. It's nothing to brag about, but it gets the job done. And also Park MGM is connected to the Nomad Hotel. So at some points it might be a little confusing, but just know that's like a small luxury boutique hotel located inside of Park MGM. It's kind of like right to the left of it if you're coming through the lobby. But just so you know, the Nomad is also connected so you don't get lost. <laughs> So as I was saying, you're always feeling like you're kind of in a park with the photography and even the wallpaper has like little hummingbirds and little flies and things on it, little bees. So even walking down the hallway, you're going to feel like you're kind of walking through a park. It's really dark now, but it's usually it doesn't feel as dark as it looks in this video, by the way. <laughs> I'll make another video that shows you all of the amenities and everything and gives you a tour of the casino and everything. But for now, let's jump right into the room. I always book through my MGM rewards card, so I get this room comped. So this will give you an idea of what kind of room you can get with the comped rooms. And this is a two queen bedroom. And you can see why my friend likes the rooms here at Park MGM because they give you the double lock feature. So you get the deadbolt as well as the slide over lock. So she feels extra secure when she stays here by herself. For some reason, side note, these were kind of my favorite accents in the room. They were little leather hooks. I've never seen that before. So it doesn't put any mark on your clothes or on your jackets. And check out this room guys, it was so nice. Especially being smoke free, you didn't get any like scent of smoke anywhere. There was huge windows, really nice lighting. There was a number of different ways to light the room. So you know we love that. They had this little area for hanging out or doing work and that little chair was so comfortable. I sat there a lot and so was the couch. The couch is really comfortable too. These little bedside lights were so cute. It really makes you feel like you're at home or like in a library or something. And each bed you get four pillows, the basic like hotel sheets. So they're not too warm, not too hot. They're just right. And then look at all these cool pictures. It's a really nice like montage of different artwork. And then you have the long couch. You can totally fit another person here if you need to. And then you have your air conditioner, of course, here. And there's plenty of outlets scattered around the room. So there's plenty of places to charge your phone and your electronics. And as we know, do not touch this. It is sensor activated. So a lot of times I'll just put like a towel on top of it to remind myself for those late nights when you come home and you're hungry. But otherwise, check out this mirror, guys. It has its own light also. Check that out. 
Definitely another favorite feature for the room. And then we'll move over to the closet. They have a safe here. This is where your ice bin is. They have cups, ironing board. Um, there's some drawers there. These hangers do not come off. And just be careful if you're coming out of the bathroom because the door slides over to cover the bathroom and then it slides over to cover the closet just so you don't knock out your friend. <laughs> they give you the basic amenities like soap, shampoo, conditioner, and then they have a hair dryer here and they also have plenty of towels. And guys, I have to tell you the water pressure in the shower is amazing. Like my friend and I both took super long showers because the water was so strong and it was so hot. My friend has really long hair, so she asked for some extra stuff and they gave her so much. Like housekeeping at Park MGM is amazing. So we definitely left them a nice little tip. If you guys follow my videos, you know I love the views in Vegas. Check this out. The mountains were so pretty. It was actually snowing on top of the mountains, so they had snow caps on them. And that's the first time I've ever seen that, so that was really cool. And throughout the week, I got to watch the snow start to melt. So it was really nice having this view of the mountains from this room. If you guys like this video, check out the next one because I'm going to give you a tour of the actual casino and the amenities so you can check out the pool and all that stuff. I wanted to keep this video short so you could enjoy it and just check out the room. So hit that subscribe so you know when I post that video. And in the meantime, check out these other Vegas videos.